नमस्कार साई राम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नवामसा व्हाट इज नवामसा इज अ वन ऑफ द डिविजनल चार्ट्स फॉर द राशि चार्ट राशि चार्ट इज एक्चुअली बेसिक थिंग सो राशि चार्ट व्हाट इट डिनोट्स इट डिनोट्स द एक्सटर्नल थिंग्स हाउ दैट पर्सन एक्सटर्नली See in Rashi chart, first bhava it denotes self. See this self denotes external self. In D nine, internal self. A person, for example, the lagna is situated in a very a cancer lagna. So he he must be very emotional and very uh, you know the crab no. He is very timid. If any it sees anybody, immediately it will go and hide in the uh, in his nest. That means, cancer like now people are very sensitive people. So, but in Navamsa it goes to Leo Navamsa. That means he is a very courageous person. Internally is very courageous. Externally he may be very sensitive and emotional and other thing. Internally, that means whenever any crisis comes, he can take care of himself. That means internal strength is there. Same way, in all bhavas, one can see second bhava. It is about family. So second fa- about family means externally the how is the family, internally how is the family. Third bhava. Third bhava indicates. Younger brother and your father-in-law also, your neighbor also. So, in Rashi chart, how your neighbor externally he behaves, and internally how is your neighbor, father-in-law, how he behaves externally to you, and internally how he feels towards you. Maybe father-in-law may be behaving. Differently to different people, but here it is related to you only, not to not his entire personality. Don't judge like that. And again, fourth bhava, your mother. How is your mother is behaving towards you? How is how is her feelings? How is your personal? How is her personality towards you? So externally, how it is, internally, how. Fifth bhava the children, sixth bhava your enemies, seventh bhava your spouse, eighth bhava is your spouse uh, family, and uh, ninth bhava spouse younger siblings, your father, your guru, tenth bhava, eleventh bhava, so on. See even eleventh bhava your friends also how they are behaving external to you and internal to you. From Rashi chart and D nine chart, that is Namsha, we can very easily identify. Now we will take an example. See now, Scorpio Lagna. Opposite to seventh house is the Spouse. See that opposite to seventh house is the Taurus. Who is the Lord of Taurus? Is the Venus. The Venus is beauty. We will take in the Taurus, Mercury is positive there. Then youthfulness. Mercury is a prince, so youthfulness. So in this way, the spouse externally very youthful, very beautiful, and very young in looking. Even at even if he is becoming older, he will young in looking. He won't age. He won't age. Very fast or something like that, but in D nine chart, if that Navamsha seventh uh, house Navamsha is uh, some Saturn house, then immediately we can conclude this person may be younger outside and print, uh, what is that beautiful outside, but inside is a older. Ah. We can conclude that difference between the uh, 
that husband and wife, that age difference is more. Or he is ma more matured man. If the Saturn is also aspecting from Lagna, then definitely we can conclude that this person is like this. See, this D9 is a very, very important tool. It is not only assessing your uh, strength of your Rashi chart. Usually D9 people will say it will be useful to assess your strength of your chart. For example, if a moon is exalted in Rashi chart, but the same moon is in Scorpio Nietzsche, then what it means? It means he is giving full, see externally he is giving more strength, but here internally is Nietzsche, that means he loses his strength. But the same way we can know about the spouse also D9 chart. Usually in D9 chart for these two purposes most of the people will use strength of the thing, uh, uh, Rashi chart and then to know about the spouse deal. But here we can use for all powers. That means all your relatives you can use who are related to you, how they are behaving internally, how they are behaving externally to know about that you can use it very nicely. Even you can talk, tell about your boss also, how he is internal, how he is external. So this way, without it, uh, just the delineating D1 chart, it will not be useful. D9 chart also you have to see, so that both sides of the coin, it will be visible to you clearly. Otherwise, if you see only Rahi chart, you will only see one side of the coin. The other side you may not know. That means it is not full story. If you want to know the full story, you have to read from first page to last page. Sairam, thank you very much.